Hey everyone, this is Mark from Wikidesign. In this video, I'm going to show you a very powerful tool to add custom animations to your website. The great thing about this tool, it requires zero coding. So you don't have to rely on custom coding, all of these animations, or using a tool like After Effects and dealing with all the exports. It's, it's too complicated. So this tool makes it very simple to do everything in one platform. Um, so I'm going to walk you through this tool a little bit, and then I'm going to show you exactly how I pulled off this animation right here. So on our website, I just had a simple thing. So if you check out this graphic down here of the city, when you get to about here, I just have the moon animate down with the stars and everything. So I'm going to show you exactly how I pulled that off. But first, let me go over what this tool is. So the tool is called SV Gator. So down here, you can see you can add little micro animations to your website. So I'm just clicking and you know, you can add these little animations throughout your website. You have a hover, this guy moves, um, this right here, you can do as complicated as a hover effect like this. So it's really cool. Here's some other examples. And just, uh, so this example right here, is the same that I just showed you where when you scroll down the page, the animation will actually kick in. And then I really like this one. So you can actually have animations that only activate when you click it. And so you can have something like that where it's like, hey, if a user clicks on something on your website, you can show some sort of information here, graphics. So the, the possibilities really are endless on what you can do with a tool like this. Let me just go over to the pricing so you can see what it is. They do have a free version where you could just go ahead and add a few projects, um, but you're kind of limited to what you can do. As you can see, you don't get access to the advanced animations and stuff like that. So um, I use the tool for about an hour and then I instantly just bought a year because I, was, I know I'm gonna use this on future projects. So now let's just jump into how I created this animation on this website. Okay, so the first step is to Download the image that you would like to animate. Then you're gonna take that image into SV Gator, make all your animations and tweaks there. And then I'm gonna show you how to easily add that to your WordPress website. So in this example, I just found this cool image in flat icon and they make it very easy to download these. So once you do a search, you find your image, you click this button SVG. This is gonna download it to your hard drive. And then from there, you're gonna import it into SV Gator. You just go into your SV Gator dashboard, click on new project, and I usually upload the image this way. Just click upload SVG. And once you do that, it's gonna bring you to the editor. So in this case, it's just the moon, stars, the building. Now, I'm gonna quickly walk you through how I animated those, the moon, the stars, and all that. Um, this isn't gonna be a full tutorial of the SV Gator platform, because as you can see, this is a big platform. But do leave a comment down below if you would like me to do a full overview and how to work on this tool. Leave a comment down below and I will make that video in the future. But in this case, you can see right here on the left side, here are all the different layers inside the SVG graphic. So the person that designed this was really organized, which is good because sometimes you can get SVG graphics and it might just be one big layer and then you're gonna have to go ahead and separate it out in Illustrator. But in this case, this was a pretty organized one. So in this example, if you remember, if you go to the website, we have it where just the moon comes down and then I have the stars and the moon um, kind of fading in. So I'm gonna show you how to quickly do that. So what you do is you, down here in the timeline, if you're familiar with uh, Premiere, After Effects, anything like that, it works in a very similar fashion. It's a uh, timeline animation base. So it's pretty simple to understand once you get used to the tool. So in this case, I named the layer moon so I can understand which moon it is because there's this moon here and then the big one. So this one has two moons. All right, so the first one is right here. It's the really big one. And what I would like to do is slowly animate that in. So if you click right here on the gear, you can see that I have the duration to 1.5 seconds. So the timeline will stop right here. I can't go any further. So what I need to do is select the moon, click this button right here. And what I want to do is actually change the position. So I would start here and let me zoom out a little bit. So what I would like to do is have the moon come down. So I start up here and let me go over to about one second. 
And all I need to do is now drag it down to where I would like it to be. So somewhere around there. So as you can see right there, look how easy that was. We now have an animated moon. Um, that's really cool. I'm like trying to do this hand coding is, is was it's trust me when this when I tell you this tool is going to save you a lot of time. Okay, so now what I would like to do is let's have the stars in this moon slowly fade in from about a half a second to maybe one and a half seconds. So in order to do that, you just click on this. So this is called Moon 2. You would click this button right here and you go under Opacity. And as you can see, it adds this keyframe right here. And if I go down over here, there's a tool called Opacity. I just changed that to zero. And let's have that animate fully in at the one second mark. So you just go to the one second, increase that to 100. So now moon slowly fades in while that one slides down. Okay, pretty easy so far, right? And I went ahead and I already grouped all of these together called stars. So everything here in this box is called stars. And so the cool thing about this tool is you can not only animate just a single object, you can animate groups. So if you have it organized, you can go ahead and animate tons of things at once. So this is a really cool feature. So same thing, I would just click on stars, click here, opacity, and same thing over here. You just change that to zero, go to the one second mark, change that to 100. There you go. So now we are at this animation and I'll change the duration to just one second instead of 1.5. And as you can see, it's gonna stop. I made it a little bit quicker. So it fades in and slides down at the same time. That's it, simple. That took me just, what, a couple minutes to do. Um, so the next thing is I recommend you hit the save and so now this is saved to your SV Gator um, dashboard. And what's cool about the next step is they have a WordPress plugin that makes it very easy to import these objects into your website so you can easily add it to your website without having to do any other exporting or anything like that. There is one extra step you need to do before you actually go to the WordPress website and import it. And that is if you click up here, this gear icon, this is where you're gonna actually change how the animation gets triggered. So in most cases, you wanna keep this at JavaScript. Um, so far, I've always kept this at unique for the exported IDs. And this, this is where you're gonna change how the animation gets triggered. You could do on load. So as soon as the user gets onto the website, it would just load the animation, it would just start playing. You could do mouse over, on click. And in this case, we wanna have it where when the user scrolls to a certain part of the website, trigger that animation on. So I just have on scroll into view. And I have it at 75%, which I think was a bit much, so let's change it to like 55%. You wanna make sure this is at responsive, and hit okay, and I always just hit save one more time. Now I'm gonna show you how to easily add this into your WordPress website. The first step you need to do to add this to your website is install their official WordPress plugin. So you just search for this in the WordPress repository, install it. Once that's installed and activated, you're gonna see there's a new settings bar right here. You would just click connect my account, authorize, that's it. So now I'm on the page that I wanna add the image to. So in order to do this, in this case, I'm using Elementor. I just type in SVG over here, click and drag. This is a default WordPress widget. So this should show up in whatever builder you're using or anything like that. Once you do that, you click select animated image, click here. So once you click import from SV Gator, this is actually all of your projects inside SV Gator. You click on that and there you go. That's it. That's all you have to do to add this animated image to your website. Um, I always make sure that it works on the front end before I publish it to a website or anything like that. So let's just scroll down and when I get up to about 55%, it animates in. There you go. So we animate the moon and have the stars fade in slowly. So that's all it is to pull this off. And like I said, this tool is going to save you tons of time if you need to start adding a lot of motion graphics to your website or anything like that. This is going to save you tons of time. 
If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more animation tutorials in the future and hit that bell to receive notifications when these videos are released. Thanks, this is Mark from Wiki Design.